One of the sketches was one that I'd actually submitted you know, trying to get the job, and it was being sat in an armchair on top of the mini. And I just thought, no, that cost too much, they'll never do that. <laughs> and I watched it the other day and I thought, well, it's quite good, isn't it, really? <laughs> A little lap belt, I think, is holding me in, I think. That is the huge difference between filming 30 years ago and filming now. Basically, we did everything for real, and I, I so preferred that. <laughs> I'm sorry to have to tell you that there is a man hidden in the car with a small video screen doing the donkey work. <laughs> but still, that's stunts. <laughs> Even in that sketch, the sound of a mini disappearing into the back of a removal van into a pile of mattresses, you know, what is that sound? And it was mainly I like the little moment when he comes back into his room and he blows some of the feathers out of his mouth. You had um, other members of the crew often, you know, whispering to me uh, ideas. One of the set hands just came up to me and he just went... <coughs> and I puffed out a load of feathers. <coughs> <laughs> I like that. I'd forgotten that joke. It's rather sweet. <laughs> the scripts of purely visual comedy, non-verbal comedy, are sort of dull as ditch water, you know, they're dull to read and they're dull to deal with. So it's actually much more fun just to have a one-line idea. and then to be sort of semi-improvising and then, and then Richard would be there very diligently or Robin just, you know, writing down what I was doing and then at least I could remember. <laughs> the simpler it is, the more extraordinary Rowan is. We set such small boundaries because we were thinking almost in terms of theatre rather than in terms of what you can set up uh, with a camera. I'm a great believer that you've got to sit back, you've got to shoot things wide so you can see as much of the body as you can at any one time. And you get this feeling that, that you are trapped in that room with Mr. Bean. You're being forced to watch him in this very voyeuristic, rather embarrassing way. And it's sort of, but it sort of generates a laughter, I think. I think it does. <laughs> Just frame it and look at it and stay there and let the action play out. Oh, no.